If you're a beginner and want to make an audiobook and don't have money, this video is for you. I'll show you the entire process of making an SEX compatible audiobook step by step. Let's say you have published a book in KDP or somewhere else and want to convert it into an audiobook. You can pay other people to do this for you, but it will take a whole lot of money. You have to hire a freelancer narrator or expensive professional narrator or you have to sacrifice the royalty portions to the narrators at SEX. And at the end of the day, you might not be happy about the result and it might seem like too much hassle. But you can do it by yourself. So I'll tell you how to make an audiobook that passes all the quality standards of SEX and without spending a penny. The steps are like this. Record your book on your phone, convert it to an audio file, convert it into a good quality audio file, then make modifications to make sure your audio file passes the requirements of SEX. Let's say you have recorded a chapter of your audiobook. In my case, it's this video file. I recorded it on my iPhone in a kind of quiet place, but it has noise, so it won't pass. The first step is to convert it into an audio mp3 file. Use VLC Media Player for that. It's free. You load the video, you click convert, select audio mp3, give it a name, and then hit convert. It will only take a few seconds to convert, according to the size or duration of the file. Next, upload this video to the Adobe Podcast, which is free, to enhance the file, meaning it will make it studio quality. It will convert the file and you can download it in WAV format. You can see that it has removed the noises from the audio. Convert it to MP3 by using VLC Media Player. Next, you have to use the third tool, which is also free. To make sure that your file passes all the requirements of SEX, sure, your audio is good quality now, but if you check, you can see that it fails according to SEX standard. To evaluate, you have to download a plugin named SEX Check. I'll give the link in the description box. Just download this plugin file, paste it in the plugin folder in your computer where Audacity is installed, and you can see this plugin there. Now, in Audacity, load the audio file, select the entire track. Now, you have to do a three-step enhancement. Step 1. Noise Cancellation again. First, go to Noise Cancellation and then click Get Noise Profile. Then, get to Noise Cancellation again and apply the Noise Cancellation. Step 2. Loudness Normalization. ACX measures this with RMS. So, go to this setting and apply Loudness Normalization to this value. Step 3. Limiter. You have to make sure that the loudness is uniform, not too high at some places. So go to the limiter, apply these settings, make sure that it's a hard limit, and then press OK. Now, check with the SEX Check plugin. You can see that all the sections will show Pass, Pass, and Pass. Now, click Export as MP3. Make sure that you use this 192 setting and force Export as Mono. Otherwise, SEX won't accept it. Now, you can upload this exported audio file as an audiobook chapter on SEX. So, what's the process flow again? Convert your recording to MP3 by using VLC Media Player, enhance with Adobe Podcast, and convert the WAV file to MP3. Then, load the audio file on Audacity, apply noise cancellation, loudness normalization, and limiter. Then, Export it as an MP3 file with 192 setting and monotype setting. Now you can rinse and repeat the steps for all the chapters and your high quality SEX compatible audiobook will be ready to submit. Sounds overwhelming or having too many steps? Actually, if you follow the steps, it won't take more than a few minutes to prepare each file and make them fully compatible with SEX. Finally, when submitting the audiobook, Make sure that you have all the components that SES, SEX asks for, meaning the cover picture at 20, 2048 by 2048 pixels, for which you can use any free online image converter. Opening credit, which tells the name of your audiobook, 
the name of the author and narrator, the chapters, obviously, and the closing credit, which says the end. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Best of luck for your audiobook. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.